Hi guys, so today I'm going to start building the document side of this rich text editor and as mentioned this will be implemented as part of rich text kit. Uh, so this is open source so you'll be able to view the code for this yourself and so I'm going to spin through this pretty quickly and probably just touch on the concepts uh, more than the actual code. Um, I've put this in a sub namespace called editor just to keep it separate from the current public API of rich text kit and you can see here we've got a text document class so this is the actual document we've got a paragraph class which is an abstract base class for any kind of embeddable content in the document and then a text paragraph which is obviously the main implementation of this paragraph so we'll start with paragraph um, you can see it's an abstract base class so this this will be the class that will be used to embed content into the document so for example, images and other types of content will be a implementation of paragraph. Um, abstract class, it's got a few methods here. Layout just asks it to lay itself out, measure itself. Paint obviously draws itself to a canvas with some options. Get carrot info asks the paragraph to return uh, carrot position and size information for a particular code point index. So code point index, probably a good time to touch on that. Internally, uh, Rich Text Kit stores all its text in UTF-32, and each UTF-32 character is called a code point. So this is an index into a UTF-32 buffer. Also, uh, everything to do with document and paragraph will either be relative to the paragraph or to the document. So in these methods and properties, these are relative. This code point index is relative to this paragraph. Okay, and returns carrot info, which is also relative to the paragraph. You'll see when we look at document, a lot of what it does is just mapping between uh, paragraph and document coordinates and offsets. Okay, hit test takes an X and Y coordinate and returns information about which code point that position is near or over. Length is the length of the paragraph in code points. Every paragraph has to have a length of at least one. Uh, the reason for that is so that if you have multiple consecutive paragraphs, if they all had a length of zero, you wouldn't be able to use the code point index to, to determine which paragraph uh, is the correct position. Content height and width return the measured width and height of this paragraph. Content x coordinate, so this is the x coordinate and y coordinate of this paragraph relative to the top of the top left of the document, and it's the coordinate of the text itself, not the outer margin positioning. Okay, so this is the actual text content position. Code point index, so this is the index of the first code point in this paragraph relative to the top of the document. In other words, it's the sum of the lengths of all the previous paragraphs. And we've got some margin uh, sizes here. Okay, so that's the paragraph. Quick look at text paragraph. You'll see it's got a text block, which is a rich text kit text block as exposed by the existing API. And then I've put in a simple constructor here just to get some text into here so we can uh, test it and see it working. The layout method, all it does is it sets up the max width on a text block to the page width less all the margins. So there's a document margin and there's a paragraph margin so it removes all of those margins for the layout width. If the document doesn't have line wrapping enabled it sets it to null which lets the text block go as wide as it wants. The rest of these methods are just the implementations of that abstract class and as you can see they're just all delegating through to the text block. So existing rich text kit functionality is doing all the heavy lifting here. Okay text document. A text document is essentially just a vertical list of paragraphs. So we've got a list of paragraphs, uh, some default margins here, and some text that we can experiment with. Paint method essentially just makes sure the layout's up to date and then just goes through every paragraph and paints it. The options here, this is just converting um, a selection range that should be painted um, from document coordinates to paragraph relative and then sets it back again so it's right the next time around. This is a bit messy but I've got some optimizations to do here anyway so I'll clean that up then. Okay, a line wrap flag, a page width which is how wide the document can be for page wrapping. 
The document also has left, right, top, bottom margins, and we'll look at those when we get to the layout method. Measured height is the total height of the document, essentially the, the height of all the paragraphs added up. Uh, measured width is a similar for um, non-line wrap. If line wrap's enabled, it just returns the page width. Total length of the document in code points. Hit test is, so this is the document equivalent of the paragraph function we looked at. It essentially finds the closest paragraph to the Y coordinate. It then just hit tests it by converting the coordinates to paragraph relative and then converts the results back to document relative. Same for carrot info. It's basically looking up the paragraph, asking the paragraph to do the work and then converting back to document relative again. This is the function we just looked at to get the paragraph for a particular code point. It's just doing a binary search, a little bit of clamping, and then uh, converting the code point index to a paragraph relative one, and a bit more clamping. This is the same for looking up a Y coordinate, so we're doing a binary search. The There can actually be gaps between the paragraphs by the time you include the vertical margins. So what we do here is if if the paragraph if the point doesn't match exactly on a paragraph content, in other words it's in the margin area between paragraphs, then it looks at the paragraph before and the paragraph after and finds the one that's closest and that's the one it will use. Okay, here's our layout function. We try to delay layout as much as possible. Um, there can be a little bit of work in uh, laying out um, the text in these paragraphs, so if we can delay it we do. And then this is essentially just going through each paragraph. Um, it's doing the code point index and the Y coordinate calculations at the same time. So you'll see it's getting the paragraph, asking the paragraph to lay itself out, setting the coordinates of the paragraph. Now for the X coordinates, just the left margin plus the paragraph's left margin. So the document and the paragraph's left margins added together. For the Y coordinate, the margins are collapsed. In other words, they overlap. So the, the actual gap between the text of two paragraphs is the maximum of the top margin of the lower paragraph and the bottom margin of the top above paragraph, if that makes sense. So they collapse onto each other. Okay, and code point index. And then we're just updating some totals as we calculate that. And then finally, we work out the total length and the total measured height which is just the results at the end of this loop. Okay, so that's the text document. And then finally, the text editor view. So this is back in GUI kit now. Um, this is the same class I showed in the uh, previous video. And the main difference is we've added a document instance in, and then we're using it in various places. So for instance, the draw function now calls document paint. The selection is painted if we have a current selection. So these two member variables hold the current selection. If there is no selection and it's just a, a car carrot position, then these will be equal. So if they're different, it means we've got a range and I've just hard coded in a color for now. It's just a light blue. Focus presence is the same. Bounds change. This is when the size of the text editor changes and all this does is updates the page width on the document so it rewraps. Okay, point a click event. So on a mouse down, basically, we hit test the document and then move the carrot to the position it found. If the keyboard shift key is pressed, then we extend the selection. Otherwise, we just move the carrot to that position. Drag. So after you've clicked, if you continue to drag, we hit test again and move the carrot, this time always extending. On mouse up, there's not much we need to do, just clean up our tracking code here. I've also put in uh, key code left and right. Um, this is actually wrong. This is moving by a code point index, each left and right character. It should actually be moving by a cluster. So a cluster is what half buzz terms the combination of multiple co code points into a single character that's displayed on screen. So we need to move by whole characters. So this is good enough for now for just testing. Um, this needs to be revisited later. And here's our move caret function. So essentially we just clamp the, the position valid. We set up the new start and end selection ranges. If we're not extending, we also set the start to the same as the end. So there's no extension selection range. 
And then if we had a selection before, or we have a selection now, we need to repaint to redraw that selection and then move the carrot to the new position. Update carrot, this is the same function as before. It's just been updated to use get carrot info to position the carrot and a little bit of fiddling around here to map what this returns onto what we actually need for this carrot view. Okay, and then the rest is basically the same. Okay, so if we run this now, let's have a look. So you can see we've got the text we entered is in here, it's been wrapped. It rewraps as we change the width of this document or editor view. We can click to move the carrot and we can click and drag to select. Works across pack paragraphs and forwards and backwards. And we can also use the keyboard to move left and right and select. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, the next video I'll probably look at uh, keyboard navigation. Um, so as I mentioned, this is kind of working, but not really. Um, up and down doesn't work, home, end, page up, page down, none of that is working at the moment. So that'll probably be the focus of the next video. Um, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Again, let me know if I'm going too fast, too slow, if you want more detail or less. I know it can be tedious if I go too slow and um, a bit hard to follow if I go too fast. So give me some feedback on that would be great. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.